Thomas Shar, a senior at Texas State, received a citation recently for violating the city's noise ordinance. Shar says he had no idea there was such an ordinance, and after receiving the citation and doing some research, believes he shouldn't have been fined. Just me and some buddies at Capstone on a sunny day, and we took my speakers that are really loud, and we got a ticket for it. San Marcos Police Chief Chase Stapp says there are two ordinances affecting noise control. One is the nuisance noise ordinance and the other is the host responsibility ordinance. They're related, they're in the same section. Andrea Sanchez, a senior at Texas State, says the noise control ordinances should strike a balance. If it's like on a Tuesday night, Monday night, Sunday night, like Wednesday night, I would have to approach them first myself and tell them, hey, you gotta keep it down or move it somewhere else or, uh, or else I'm gonna call the cops. Now, Shari does have some options to consider. He could pay the fine and take a defensive driving course to have the ticket dismissed. He could request a hearing before a judge or request a trial by a judge or jury. He also could plead no contest. For Bobcat Update, I'm Bill Manson. Fans of student radio station KTSW gathered at the Dahlia Woods Gallery in downtown San Marcos recently to celebrate the history of Mr. Fest. It's the largest event the radio station does in the year, and while the radio station does a lot of events, this one being as big of a spectacle as it is, I think, catches more people's attention. Mr. Fest started as a one-day, one-venue event in 2008. It has grown to feature more than 60 performing artists in several locations in downtown San Marcos. Mr. Fest is now a two-day event. A lot of the bands uh, that are playing this year's festival are, uh, you know, local San Marcos favorites. Um, a lot from Austin, a lot from San Antonio, uh, as well as Houston, and then our headliner from flying in from New York. All Mr. Fest events are free to attend, but donations are accepted and go to a local charity. This year's proceeds will be donated to the Hayes Caldwell Women's Center. San Marcos is really an oasis of art, and I think Mr. Fest really showcases the musical aspect of that. The 10th annual Mr. Fest will take place downtown San Marcos, April 28th and 29th. For Bobcat Update, I'm Catherine Machia. Students and vendors alike are planning for the next market day. It's scheduled for next Tuesday on the quad. Students will have a chance to take a look at new products and maybe get something they missed the last time. It's a great opportunity to meet the students out here. Like We do a lot of online sales and a lot of our product goes into other stores so we don't really get to meet our customers. So coming out here we actually get to meet the customers and like get to see what they like, what they don't like and usually we get a pretty good like positive response back. Vendors use different techniques to lure busy students. Typically market day is one day per month during the fall and spring semesters. However, per our university policy and procedure statement, market days need to occur at least a minimum of two times in a semester. For future market days on the quad, check out the events page at texasstate.edu. For Bobcat Update, I'm Josh Kelly.